and to this day, I'm grateful to CSI for taking a gamble on me. While I'm here, I have to give proper thanks and credit to my colleagues in the English department. Quiet as, as it is kept, College of Staten Island has developed a creative writing faculty that rivals any and all other faculties in the country. My colleagues are doing fascinating work in all kinds of areas, winning NIFAs, Guggenheims, Fulbrights, NEAs, winning all kinds of grants and publishing anthologies and books, engaging in activism, doing fascinating work in multiple areas of research. But you know what? All this is nothing without the students. And the students at CSI are exceptional. They are strivers. They're working often two or three jobs. They slide into classes on a Friday evening after a hard day's work or managing two or three kids while they get homework done. During this pandemic, they log on to classes on their laptops or tablets or even their phones, finding sanctuary in the only quiet space they can find maybe inside their car or on the floor of a closet in their cramped apartments or maybe a park when it's warm outside. They come determined to work through their own quarantines and even through their own COVID infections. They write poems about their loved ones that have departed over the past year, unable to go to their funerals or wakes, forced to grieve through on-screen pictures and Zoom chat rooms. They shed tears in class after reading their personal essays of family loss, of missing their people. And the whole class has to sometimes just take a beat, slow down, pause to remember something beyond just the idea of creative writing, poetry, or fiction. We have to remember the real idea behind why we are there on that day, the real reason why we are communicating across culture, race, religion, ethnicity, gender, age, and sexuality. That the reason we are in the class floating in the electronic ether these days, but face to face in other days, is to find a way to listen more acutely, more kindly, more generously to each other. I learn every day from my students as they write their lives into their poems and stories. And the students learn about themselves because as I tell them, they are the subjects of the class. Their visions and dreams and hopes can stretch as far as they want them to. I'm just there to give them a framework in which to launch that vision. And then they can make their own frame by themselves. Thank you to all of you for your support of College of Staten Island students.